गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू भारत न्यूज ऑन भारत टीवी आई एम विरल त्रिवेदी एंड हियर आर टू नाइट स्टॉप स्टोरीज इन ब्रेकिंग न्यूज यूक्रेनियन प्रेसिडेंट सेलेंस्की क्लेम्स द वॉर विद रशिया कुड एंड सुनर अंडर ट्रम्प्स प्रेसिडेंसी इन लोकल न्यूज ट्रम्प अनवेल्स स्ट्रिक्ट इमिग्रेशन प्लान्स कंसीडर्स माइक रॉजर्स फॉर एफबीआई डायरेक्टर एंड अपॉइंट्स कैरोलाइन लेविट एज प्रेस सेक्रेटरी GOP lawmakers push to revoke security clearances over the Hunter Biden laptop controversy and the tragic death of an Indian family at the US Canada border sparks outrage. In Indian news, Prime Minister Modi shares bold vision for a developed India by 2047 while Akhilesh Yadav condemns divisive politics, BJP and Congress trade allegations over election violations and Manipur faces renewed violence amid curfews and internet bans finally elon musk's falcon 9 rocket prepares to launch in indian satellite emphasizing india's advancements in space technology in international news australia's cap on foreign student intakes sparks um, worries for indian aspirants let's dive into details ukrainian president volodymyr zelensky has expressed hope that the war with Russia could conclude sooner under the policies of Donald Trump's incoming administration. In a phone call with Trump, Zelensky described the discussion with constructive emphasizing the need of diplomatic solution in the faces of escalating Russian advances. While critics warn that Trump's approach may compromise Ukraine's sovereignty, Zelensky highlighted the urgency to end the conflict diplomatically by next year. Trump, who has pledged to halt the drain of US resources on foreign wars, has yet to reveal the specifics of the strategy. Donald Trump has announced a sweeping overhaul of US immigration policies, proposing the reinstatement of family separations and expanding mandatory detentions of undocumented migrants. He also aims to limit asylum claims to deter illegal crossings. While Trump argues these measures will secure borders and reduce resource strain, critics label them inhuman, reigniting debates about the balance between security and human rights. Mike Rogers, a former FBI agent and respected congressman, is being considered for FBI director, signaling Trump's preferences for experience and loyalty. Meanwhile, Caroline Levitt, a vocal Trump supporter, has been appointed as White House press secretary. Rogers' nomination could strengthen agency leadership amidst ongoing security, while Levitt's role reflects Trump's strategy on maintaining direct and controlled communication with the public. Republican lawmakers are pushing to revoke the security clearances of 51 former intelligence officials who dismissed Hunter Biden's laptop as Russian disinformation. Vice President-elect J.D. Vance called their actions a betrayal of public trust, arguing that accountability is essential to restore faith in U.S. institutions. Critics claim this move is politically motivated, but GOP leaders stress the importance of consequences for misleading the American public. An Indian family, including two young children, tragically froze to death while attempting to cross the U.S.-Canada border illegally. The family, hailing from Gujarat, highlights the extreme risk migrants face in pursuit of better opportunities. The incident has prompted Indian authorities to call the heightened awareness campaigns and international cooperation to prevent such tragedies in the future. At Hindustan Times Leadership Summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi outlined his roadmap for transforming India into a developed nation by 2047. His plan emphasizes boosting infrastructure, fostering digital innovation, and empowering youth to lead India's global economic ascent. Modi reiterated the importance of public-private partnerships and sustainable development as critical pillars of his vision. Samajwadi Party leader Akhilesh Yadav condemned the increasing use of divisive rhetoric in Indian politics. Speaking at summit, 
he criticized the focus on negative campaigns and called for collaborative efforts to address pressing national issues, including unemployment and inflation. Yadav urged political leaders to prioritize unity and constructive policies over polarization. The BJP has accused Rahul Gandhi of inciting regional divides through the comments on Maharashtra's opportunities being snatched by other states. In retaliation, Congress alleged the Home Minister Amit Shah's speeches in Jharkhand were divisive and discriminatory. Both complaints have been filed with the Election Commission, highlighting the intensifying political battles as key states prepare for polls. Protests and violent incidents in Manipur have led to the imposition and curfews and a suspension of internet services. Demonstrators stormed the homes of ministers and MLAs, escalating tensions in the region. The unrest has raised calls for stronger governance and effective measures to address the root causes of the ongoing conflict. Elon Musk's SpaceX is set to launch an Indian satellite abroad the Falcon 9 rocket, which boasts a near-perfect success rate. This mission represents a significant step in India's collaboration with global space technology leaders and reflects the country's growing influence in satellite development and deployment. Australia's decision to limit foreign student intake has sparked concerns in Indian aspirants who form a significant portion of international enrollments. Experts warn the cap could reduce opportunities for higher education, strain bilateral relations, and discourage talent migration to Australia. This policy shift has ignited debates about the future global student mobility and India's role in shaping educational collaborations. That concludes today's news on Bharat TV. For more updates on these stories and others, visit our website or follow us on social media. I'm Viral Trivedi and we'll see you next time.